This is From Nothing to Gloves with Profitable Trade-Ups, the series where I started with zero dollars and will be using nothing but profitable trade-ups to get myself a pair of gloves. If you missed any of the previous episodes, make sure to check those out, but to quickly recap, our goal is set at $1,500 to get ourselves a pair of factory new imperial plaid gloves to go with the rest of my purple loadout. By the way, I'm giving away this Huntsman Knife lore when we hit 20,000 subscribers, so if you'd like to enter for a chance to win, check out the community post. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Also, make sure to stick around and watch the whole video to find out what this week's giveaway is in the instructions to enter. We ended the last episode with $47.95. Let's get into the trade-ups. Today's first trade-up consists of 10 StatTrack field-tested restricted skins from the Fracture Case below a 0.2 average float. Make sure to get each of the inputs for 65 cents or less. This trade-up costs $6.50 total and has a 135.08% profitability after Steam fees with a 100% chance to profit each time. This is a no-risk trade-up, so every outcome is great, but the Glock 18 Vogue is easily the best at nearly $4 of profit. I did a few of these trade-ups last episode and somehow didn't realize I had purchased the inputs for one more, so let's just quickly do one of these before moving on to some even crazier trade-ups. All right, boys, we just have one of these. We're not stressing at all. 100% guaranteed profit right here, but it would be nice to see the Vogue. So let's see it. Get us above $50 in the balance right now. Three, two, one, Vogue. That's okay, over $2 of profit, and we have some more insane trade-ups in this video. But before I show you those, my friends over at GamerPay have an insane offer for you. Today's sponsor, GamerPay, wants to sponsor you with a free 5 euros on your first 50 euro deposit. GamerPay is an extremely trustworthy peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website where you can find some of the cheapest CS2 skins on the market. Take a look at this MAC-10 Fade, for example. Currently, the cheapest one is on GamerPay. GamerPay is the only marketplace with no buying or selling fees, and you can even sell your skins on a trade lock. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to claim your free 5 euros today. The second trade-up of the episode consists of 5 StatTrack Factory new restricted skins from the Spectrum 2 case and 5 StatTrack Minimal Wear skins from the Chroma 2 case below a 0.0597 average float. The easiest way to do this is by getting the Factory new skins below a 0.029 float and the Minimal Wear skins below a 0.09 float. Make sure to get the Factory new skins for $3.38 or less and the Minimal Wear skins for $1.98 or less. This trade-up costs $26.80 total and has a 131.94% profitability after Steam fees, also with a 100% chance to profit each time. This trade-up is insane and one I've featured on my channel plenty of times. Every outcome you can get is crazy, but the StatTrack Minimal Wear Galil Eco is the best at nearly $40 of profit. Let's do some of these. All right, man, this trade-up is absolutely insane. If you've been a watcher of this channel for a minute, I know you've seen it before. I absolutely love it, but I'm thinking we do maybe four of them today. Let's see how it goes though. Let's start it off with this one. Can we please see that Galil Eco early? Three, two, one eco okay we'll take the gin we will take that that's like nearly five dollars of profit so we're slowly increasing that balance we cannot be upset let's do a few more of these though all right trade up number two historically every time i've done these i have gotten a galil so it would be great to see one in the four of these that we do one in six chance though so there is obviously a chance we don't see it give us the galil though please three two one boom Oh my god, I don't know why, but the rifle baited me. I thought it was going to be the Galil, but that's still fire. Obviously, we're getting over $1 profit. Not the best, but we can't complain. All right, trade up number three of four for this insane contract. Can we please see that Galil? That would be insane for the balance, man. We're obviously trying to get up to $1,500 to get those gloves. We're about a 15th of the way there. So come on, Galil, get us one step closer. Three, two, one. One. Goil. Oh, monkey business. Such a clean OG skin though. Can't hate on it at all. Over $3 of profit. Not quite what we wanted to see, but we can't be upset, dude. Let's do the fourth and final one for this trade-up. Trade-up number four of four. Show us that Galil. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh low-key bait again. I don't know why. We just saw this. Over $1 of profit. Can't be mad. Let's move on to the last contract of the video. Easily the best and most hype one. Before we do that, I have something to show you guys. All right, boys. This week, I'm giving away a factory new SSG Dragonfire. To enter, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment letting me know the first time you ever played Counter-Strike. My first time was at the end of 2014. Almost 10 years ago. That's crazy. Also, just make sure you have your Steam trade link in your YouTube bio 
now so I can send you the skin when you win. But make sure you don't skip a step or else you won't be entered. Let's load up one more contract and see how high we can get our balance today. The final trade up of today's video consists of 3 Stat Track Factory New and 7 Stat Track Minimal Wear Restricted Skins from the Horizon case below a 0.07 average float. The easiest way to do this is by getting the Factory New skins below a 0.028 float and the Minimal Wear skins below a 0.088 float. Make sure to get the Factory New skins for $7.21 or less and the Minimal Wear skins for $3.09 or less. This trade up costs $43.26 total and has a 128.29% profitability with a one third chance to profit each time. This one is definitely a bit more risky, but if you hit the M4A1S Nightmare, you're making over $65 of profit each time. Also, the floats for this trade-up can be extremely difficult to find, so here's a slightly easier alternative with 4 factory new floats and 6 minimal wear ones. The only downside is this one costs $4 more and is slightly less profitable on average. That being said, let's do some of these trade-ups. Alright boys, we are doing something very, very risky. I did the math, we're sitting at $61.20 even. This trade-up has a one-third chance to profit, and according to the math, I can only miss this trade up twice and then I won't be able to do any more. So we need, we absolutely need to hit the nightmare on one of the first two trade ups. We're going to have to go back to the drawing board and start from like $30 in the balance and work ourselves back up. So please let us see the nightmare right here. Three, two, one, boom. No, no, dude. No, 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 not like this. Not like this. All right, we have one more attempt. If we hit this, we're going to be able to do a couple more of these. But if we miss, it's going to be the end of today's episode and we're going to be back at square one. We need to hit this. But this is where dreams are made of, man. $47.26 in the balance. If we hit the nightmare, we will finally be over that $100 threshold. But if we miss, we're going to have to restart from nearly nothing. Three, two, one. One, boom! Oh, no, no, dude. I don't even know what to say. I actually, I genuinely have no words. Uh, we still have $31 or so in the balance though, man. I'm probably just gonna stick to no risk trade-ups going forward until our balance is high enough, dude. Because my heart can't handle this. We're taking too much risk too early on. Not what we need to do. Need to play it safe going forward. I really just have nothing to say. Well, thank you guys for being here. Even though I had terrible luck, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I hope I see you back here for episode 6. It might be a bit of a boring one because we're probably just going to do no riskers to get our balance up, but we're going to have to do what we need to do to succeed. And these high risk trade ups this early on are not the move. But as always, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet, so go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.